Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm going to go to the Shilin Night Market for the first time. Well, any night market in Taipei. About to get some dinner. Yeah, welcome to the stream again if you've joined me again. I got to see what Taiwanese nightlife is all about. Supposedly, I think this is the biggest night market. Thank you, Michael. You like the cha channel? One thing you have to be careful of are these scooters. They're allowed to drive on the street. There's so many places around here. Hi, Marcia from Brazil. This is Taro. Oh, cool. Taro bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, the Chinese good. Yeah. Taro. Taro. Yeah. Taro. Yeah. 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 Crispy sweet taro ball. Okay, we are eager. Yeah. Try this out. Crispy taro ball. All right, let me find somewhere to sit here. It's hard in this place. Yes, yeah, 20 NT per piece, which is less than a dollar US. So here it is, right here. I'm gonna try this out. Wow, that is good. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> My first piece of night market food. It's around 32 NT dollars to one dollar. So that was equivalent to about 70 cents, I think. Mmm. Oh, wow, this is so good. I love taro, too. Take a look. It's filled with taro. Oh, scooter's sneaking up behind me. I'm at the Shilin Night Market, Zaki CND. Yeah, that's what I got, because I love taro. Um, right now it's 6.03 p.m. Yeah, I'll flip the camera. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Why would uh, scooters want to come here? Mm. How's the jet lag? EMR ass? Hasn't affected me yet. I feel energized. Yeah, it's my first time here. Mm. 
二十几杯啊，应该还好吧。Uh, the weather is around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Time is 6:05 p.m. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be tonight either, but I was like, you know what? You might as well do it. I already did a pre-recorded walk through this area, but in terms of trying out the food, I want to do it live. Yeah, there's a lot of scooters here. This is scallion pancake, I think. And the sirloin steak. And what do we got here? That looks like some kind of weird noodle. Uh, if you would consider this Chinatown, I guess it is, but Taipei is all Chinatown. <laughs> Hi, Lagertha. How do I feel? I feel great. I'm very hungry. That's how I feel right now. Well, John Walter Sabatini, I have to tell you something. I'm not using my 11 Pro right now. I'm using my 8 Plus. Someone's gonna snipe me, okay. Sugar cane juice. I'll try sugar cane juice because I'm very thirsty. <laughs> Lemon and sugar cane juice. Huh. And they also have fresh milk and sugar cane juice. I don't know what they're making there. This is sweet as hell, buy with lemon. Okay. It's busy here. Hi, we are Yiga lemon and sugar cane juice. Okay, so they put the lemon in the juice juice. All right. Okay, shit share. This cancer The only question is, where do you like stand to the side and eat this stuff? I'm still holding my wrapper from the taro, fried taro that I got. I don't see any garbage here. A walk and eat, all right. 
Yeah, that's what I'm finding out very quickly. There's no garbage cans and you guys gotta like keep walking, I guess, and eating. Eat what you get. You know what, I'll just do this because this one's not being used. There's my sugar cane juice. And this wrapper I'll just hold on to because All right. Sugar cane juice. Let's try this thing out. Yes, I'm in Taiwan, if you couldn't tell by the title. Sugar cane with lemon. Ooh, that is good. Tastes like lemonade, actually. Almost exactly like it. The sugar cane juice was 50 NT. So that comes out to about a dollar fifty, I think. Around about. Yeah, I could tell it's a detox drink. It will be very good for me. Cause I've been eating a lot of like this airline food and yeah they gave me a plastic straw but the restaurant I ate for for breakfast they gave me a paper straw man people here just walking around and shopping It is Saturday night, I mean, uh, Sunday night. People here are very chill. And then what do we got here? This is like another juice vendor. Scooter coming through. Also like some fish ball or something. Hmm. Dude, I haven't tried bubble tea yet. The temperature is very comfortable. It's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's a spa, you can get a whole body massage here. 20 minutes, only 200. All right, let's walk down here. Crispy milk donut. Well, this is interesting. Dude, uh, I guess I could try it sometime, but I still got to finish this sugar cane. So the next street I'm going to be walking on 
I think it's the main street of the Shillin Night Market. Right here. Rebecca, thank you so much. I feel welcomed here. Oh, some exotic fruits here. I know kiwi and dragon fruit. Hi, ni hao. Hi, Yopi from Indonesia. Welcome to the stream. For those of you joining, I'm a native New Yorker. I landed in Taipei this morning and now it's my first experience in a night market. This seems to be like the, um, the uh, accessory section. Huh. Very like weird street. I thought there would be more food here. Uh, the time right now is 6.15 p.m. We got some set juice and ice. Um, I don't know how long I'll be staying yet. I know I'm going to get full first before I decide to leave. City boy. <laughs> they got some interesting names for these clothing retailers. Alpha Centauri, jet lag hasn't affected me yet. I feel energized. Okay, so I think this is the main street. Mario Maz asking how the public transport is. It's very efficient. Comes very quickly. People are orderly. There's cell phone reception between stations. I know Taiwan's got a obsession with claw machines. You can win a dark Pikachu and a Mew and some other things. So many people here. I can't believe it. Is it expensive to stay in Taipei? Uh, it depends where you go. Wow, look at this tiny street down here. Uh, I didn't get a hotel, I got an Airbnb, but it's a very nice studio apartment. Came out to around 72 US dollars per night. I'm very happy with the Airbnb I got. This market is in the Shilin district, which is north of the main area of Taipei. Wow, there's a lot of people here behind me. Never seen a place like so lively at night, and especially like in New York. I've still yet to find a place to throw my trash out though. This is happy sweet potato roll and almond tea. The almond tea smells good. Let me tell you that much.
Wow, these these vendors are very aggressive trying to push their way through. I think it may be better to turn the camera around so I can see them. Octopus balls, whoa. Taiwanese understand English? I mean, some people, I guess. It depends who uh, understands English or not. I noticed the younger generation, they all, most of them, they understand English. But I try to communicate with a few people today with English, but they weren't very receptive to it. A lot of souvenir shops around here. 50 slash percent. Emporio Armani. Yeah, you won't see tourists here. Someone was commenting about beautiful girls. I mean, it's beautiful girls everywhere in the world. Not just here. Is this the main city? Well, it's in Taipei, which is the main city. I know this is the main night market. It's the biggest one from what I've read. The Supreme Boxes, yeah. I could, right? I'm sure this stuff is legit, right? A lot of the vending machines. What am I gonna buy at the markets? Just food right now. I can come back here for souvenirs. Those are nice souvenirs, wood magnets. Oh, wow. This looks like preserved woman, I mean, uh, produce or something. I got distracted by Papa Mullane's comment. But they wanted to say hi. That's so lively here. I think, uh, I may have a possibility of getting copyrighted here due to all the music, but we will see. That I don't want to really eat. Oh, look at this. I'm not getting close to that flame though. Oh my gosh. That looks overdone. Thank you. What if it's more of like a thing? Roasted conch? Yeah. Let's check this out over here. Oh man, this looks like so much sugar. Candy tomatoes. Too much sugar for me, especially eating the sugar cane. Roasted conch, huh? Hello, anyhow. Frog's eggs, whoa. Huh. 
I'm gonna walk back because I saw a bunch of vendors on this side. Snow wave ice cream, whoa. I see they have a lot of like seafood here. Not surprising because Taiwan is surrounded by water. Baby octopus. Oh. Taoyaki cheese. Yeah, they should have some good seafood. Got Iron Man there. Both the mass and the unmasked option. Yeah, there's a big Pokemon culture here in Taiwan. Toy Story. Shiba Inu. And Montgomery, it is 6.26 p.m. Taiwan, Mr. Shrimp and Miss Fish. Rain Sky Umbrella Store. This is definitely very needed because it rains a lot in Taiwan. This is Lava Pure Boba Milk. Skylab 14, I'm in the Shilin District. This is the Shilin Night Market, the largest night market in Taiwan. Unless I'm wrong. Got another flamer here. Wow, that is uh, <laughs> a very interesting way to cook food. Hi, Norman from Mexico. One bite fried dumplings, 10 of them for 50 NT. I want to try something strange. These look like the, um, the flower cakes that are prevalent in New York City Chinatown. Taiwanese souvenirs here. This is mini so. Now check this store out. Wow. What do they got in the store?
Uh, I haven't been streaming live like on my channel until recently because this is a recent trip I did. I kind of want to share my first experience with all of you, so. Let's check it out here. We got some neck pillows and Christmas stuff. Oh wow, look at this. They got some interesting water bottles. Huh. I think I'll get a blue one. It's a water bottle. Uh, the tap water, I don't think is potable. It needs to be filtered. All right. I'm gonna go and pay for this now. Hello. Yeah. Uh, sure, I need one. Uh, okay. That's fine. They charge a dollar for shopping bags here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. 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 Okay, just here. Okay, thank you. Oh, I need to sign, okay. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Came out to twelve seventy seven. Right. Okay, lose to the shoe. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, phone again. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I needed one of those water bottles because I bought the same one in Mexico City. I have the same one and I always wanted another one. I can never find another one like it in the States. the best water bottle I've ever gotten. Oh, no problem, Larry. Thank you for joining in the stream. It really means a lot that so many people are interested in where I'm going and what I do. Thank you, Brew Baker. I'm glad you can join in here.
nice chest plane. You're watching from New Mexico. Red lipstick, thank you for your concern. I'll get a good rest tonight. Nephi, yeah, thank you. It's nice to come to Taipei as well. They do have weird food, but I have to find it. I think we're at the food section. There's a lot of people lining up for this, so I think I'll line up with them. This is barbecue pleuritus aragony. It's mushroom, okay. Thank you for the clarification there. Yeah, that's a good way to tell if it's good food. Just like this morning, I passed by a really long line. I think that was a um, food court that was very popular. Oh, hey, someone's watching from Taiwan. Cool. Fiona, people are giving me some strange looks. They know I'm not from here when I talk English like so fluently. And then with Jiang Shi Zhengwen this year, uh, people they don't like seem to notice me. Sab1175 is watching from Taipei as well. Hundred and fifty for a mushroom. It's grilled hitaki mushroom. Oh, shiitake mushroom. Okay. This better be good. It's 150. A cue for the uh, for the place is always a good sign. By the way, 150 is four dollars and ninety-five cents U.S. Larry Whitler, thank you for the super chat. So appreciated.
Rich Short with a five dollar super chat. Thank you. Oh man. Oh, this here. So that's uh, hundred and fifty. Cheers, cheers. Okay. Now it's very busy here. Wow. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all this and even juggle everything. I think I'll just hang out here because all right I can't even get a view of this mushroom it's right here five dollar Inga hits thank you so much for the for the super chat that should do a PBS documentary yeah Let's try this out, huh? Wow. That is good, good mushroom. This flavor very nice too. This guy's cooking the meat. There is a cube for this mushroom, but it is worth it. Mm. Good. Add a little bit of spice to it too. Ooh. That one tastes strange. Mm. Yup, long queue is good food. I mean, this is um, five bucks, but you get a lot. Whoa. Strong. It's whatever the... Whatever sauce they use that makes it good. Mmm. The sauce is spicy and sweet. It's good. Mm. Those are something that I should not be seeing. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Nope. Nope, 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 nope.
Okay. Sorry. So. Okay. Just have to uh, go with it, huh? At least mine's cooked, I tell you that much. At least those aren't the American cockroaches. I think I'm zoomed in, I gotta zoom out. It's a lot of people. It's hard to eat this. I don't mind eating it. It's cooked and I got charcoal pills I had. I took some charcoal pills this morning. That should protect me from any kind of um, bad, bad things from this market and other foods. I'm used to seeing roaches. How long I'm staying in Taiwan? I'm staying here three weeks. I think this uh, mushroom dish is Pretty much all I'm gonna get for this market. I'm getting full ready from this. Thank you, Chang and Beatrice, welcoming me to Taiwan. Have I tried boba tea, Chang asked. I tried in New York, not Taiwan yet. Although I had a winter melon milk tea this morning that was really good. I wonder what this is, some kind of interesting noodles. How is security here? Do I feel safe? I feel very safe. You know this mushroom is um, starting to get to me. All the spices are kind of like lingering on in my mouth. 
Alrighty. Let's go down this street. My gimbal's off balance. I'm gonna try to rotate it back. All right, better. At least here, there's a place to sit. I can finish this. Much better. One thing of the negatives of this night market is there's not enough places to sit and eat. You just kind of have to like walk and eat around. There's no trash bins anywhere. I really don't know why my gimbal is acting up. It's really hot for some reason. Yeah, my gimbal's really hot. I don't know why. It's like it's overheated or something. You know, I didn't use the GoPro. I'll just let it cool down. Maybe what makes this taste good is not the sauce, but the roach eggs. No, I don't, I'm not thinking about that. This is um, the mushroom. I think it's the shiitake mushroom with a sauce. There was a long queue for it though. Yeah, I'm gonna be high on mushrooms this morning. View of the street, all right. Sab 117 Masai saying Rauha Night Market or Ningxia. I'm going to both. Tomorrow I think I'll do 
Rao He and then I could do the Ning Sha later. The shot by me. This one has the best bubble tea. I'm, I was actually thinking of getting some right after I eat, finish this mushroom. I'm gonna go get it. It would help if they had a, a restroom too. I'm not a restroom, but a garbage can. All right, I'm gonna hook my phone up to back up to the gimbal. Hopefully it doesn't overheat again. Yeah, I know there was no sound because I wanted to um, hook up the gimbal. I didn't want to hear like you guys hearing the noise. All right, hopefully it doesn't overheat. That would be a shame if it did. Let's get this bubble tea. The oyster omelet at Ningxia is famous. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Thank you for the tip. It's a long time, long line for this bubble tea. So this bubble tea is famous, huh? Wonder if there's a garbage anywhere. Lining up for bubble tea, just like New York City. Maybe I could ask them if they could throw my garbage out. That'll be very helpful. So which one is their most famous bubble tea? Hey Slava, welcome.
Leo Ganzon, you wanted me to mention your name from the Philippines? Okay. There are better bubble tea shops than this one. Yeah, but I'm actually craving for it right now, so. And there's a queue for it, so it probably should be good. I'm gonna get the brown sugar bubble with milk because I know I've been craving for it ever since I tried tiger sugar and chun yang and yi fang fruit tea in the states and I'm curious how bubble tea tastes like from the origin in Taiwan I hope there'll be a comedy help me throw this out. Hello, well the Jung Wen Bu Hao the Wish Make yeah. Uh, me, can you help me throw this out? No? Okay, thank you. I'll get the brown sugar bubble with milk. Okay. Uh, uh, 30% sugar, 30% ice. Uh, medium. Okay, no problem. Do you know where we could throw this out? Okay. Yeah. All right. What I don't like is holding all these coins. It's... Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, World Trade Center walk, that one was a scheduled one. All right. I really want to find a garbage somewhere. I'm not using my GoPro. This is a um, my iPhone 8 Plus. It's really annoying to carry this around. I wonder what num number they're up to now. Mine is, uh, I don't even know what number I am. I'm s number number 69 trash can behind me what no yeah let me just put it in this bag it'll be a lot easier to carry Or well, maybe not. Oh, 69 is ready. Okay. Hello.
I'm still trying to find like garbage. Um, uh, there's a way, like if you go straight and turn right. Okay. I think you will see one. All right. You need my ticket? Uh, yeah. Where did I put it? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at it. Yeah, it's mine. All right, thank you. It's so hard to juggle everything. Don't go to a night market full of bags because you're not gonna have places to throw it out. That's what I'm figuring out now. Everyone's laughing at me because I'm such a noob at this. They're like, yeah, bring your own garbage thing. But he told me to go here and go to the right. So. My goodness. You know what? Tiger sugar is right here. Tiger sugar and Chun Yang, which is my voted favorite in bubble tea in New York City. But seriously, they need more garbage bins here. Yep, the next time I'm going to a night market, I'm bringing an empty bag. That's definitely that's needed. He said to go here and go to the right. If there's a restroom, I think I could dump it. Look at the queue for this place. Wow. What's so special about this? <clears throat> Shang Jian Bao. Okay, it looks good. Yeah, the cell phone service is a lot better here, Creeper Caller. It's a lot more, um, like, connected and more reliable. Where do I find a trash can? This is. Ridiculous. I think I'll be walking around for an hour, still can't find a trash can. Okay.
Yeah, it's a trash can adventure now. Who knew, right? Night markets bring uh, roaches and they also bring a lack of trash cans. Oh, 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 oh. I found it. And it's even a challenge to get to the trash can. All right, so we got this one. And I've also got this trash too. This trash can shrine, that's right. And while I'm here, I might as well open this straw. He's digging through the trash? What? Oh man, he must be desperate. And I might as well throw this in the trash too. No more trash for me. I should wait by this trash can and finish this bubble tea because it's going to be a challenge to find another one once I finish this. Like seriously, right? The harsh reality of Taiwan, lack of trash cans. So they told me I gotta shake this up before I try it. This is True Dan, True Dan bubble tea, brown sugar. It man the finale on the top. So I'm gonna try a brand I've never tried before, bubble tea. Let's give this a shake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, it's ready. Let's stick this in here. If I could angle it down, I'd be better if it's a table. Lack of trash cans and lack of tables here and lack of places to sit. I'm three hours behind Melbourne. I passed 50, what? 50 what? Is it a famous store? Yeah, that's, I think that's the secret of the night market vendors. They sell you stuff so that way you can dispose of their trash for them. They don't have to do it. Found a public bench to sit down so I could at least show you what this is all about. This bubble tea. Hey. So you gotta put it in forcefully like this. Let's try it. Mm. 
That is good. Not so sweet, but that's the way I ordered it. I asked for 30% sugar and 30% ice. A New Year's Eve night walk. I guess I could eventually. Good night, Alpha Centauri. Glad you can join in. I'm headed to the MRT station right now, but I gotta finish my bubble tea before you get I get on. Cause they don't allow it. No food or drink on the metro. Yeah, I'm walking away from the night market cause I've had enough of it for tonight already. That uh, mushroom really filled me up. Oh, I can hold the drink but not drink it. That's good. There's a lot of trash cans. Yeah, I am a little bit tired. A good Korean barbecue. That place. <clears throat> Rich Short, thank you for the $5 super chat. You just helped me pay for this bubble tea. It was 65, which is like two bucks if you really get this in new york it's like five bucks and up ronnie you the 14 hour flight was very comfortable i didn't have any real turbulence and i got two meals hi kev aussie I want to know how far this metro station is. I got out, got off at the um, the Jan Jan To station coming here because there was somebody who said that it was closer to the Shillin Night Market than the Shillin station. Ronnie, yes, I am staying at an Airbnb. It's near the Taiping main station. I 
I guess here I just cross and hope someone doesn't hit me. Time to ride the metro. Thanks to someone's suggestion, I now have an easy card. You live two stops from the Shilin station? Wow. ATM. And you got pay phones. I'm gonna finish this bubble tea, guys. I don't feel like carrying it. Even though I know I can carry it and ride it on the MRT. I might as well just down it here. The bubbles are very firm. Very chewy. Yeah, you can't eat or drink in the MRT. Even in even water, you can't drink. They're really strict about that. You really gotta chew this ball, boy. You could choke on it. You know, I'll tell you a very interesting story. I was very, very afraid of bubble tea for the longest time because when I was younger, I almost choked on one of these balls. It got stuck in my throat, and I had like a bubble tea fear for like 20 years. At least. Told for the hot springs, yeah. I have a plan to go there sometime. Hi, Elias from Brazil. That's a big gulp. We really want to finish this thing. World traveler, I'm not visiting family. So this looks like the bubble tea drink. I guess that's for cycling.
All right, everyone. I'm going to pause the stream for a little bit while I use the restroom. So I'll see you soon. Stay tuned, maybe like in three minutes or so. Hey everyone. So I just used the restroom and I experienced my first ever squatting toy squatting toilet. That was pretty interesting. You also have to buy your own paper there or bring your own toilet paper. The squatting toilet is pretty interesting if you're not used to it, but I've seen them before. I gotta make the, use the correct side. There's no picture, black screen. Oh man, you know, I'll start a new stream anyway. I need to take the Metro back and I just missed the train. So I'll see you later.